In October of 2019, Deerfield Township's annual harvest festival ended in tragedy when a 10 year old girl was thrown from one of the rides known as Extreme. The incident sent shockwaves through the small town and people were left wondering how such an incident could have possibly happened. The investigation into the disaster continues to haunt the girl's family as they are still fighting for justice with lawsuits currently ongoing. This is the infamous Extreme Sizzler Ride disaster. Haley Lynn McMullen was born in Vineland on the 28th of January 2009 to parents Christopher and Amanda McMullen. According to her parents, Haley was a beautiful child inside and out and was kind to everyone. She wouldn't leave the room without giving someone a hug and she loved her elder brother and younger sister to bits. Her parents would often find her with her little sister playing games that they'd made up. She had aspirations of becoming a vet or even a YouTuber and loved animals and nature. Her family was very close, which sadly makes this story all the more tragic. On the 12th of October, Haley, along with her family, went to the Harvest Festival in Deerfield Township to celebrate Columbus Day, a national holiday celebrated in America and various places around the world. The Harvest Festival is an annual festival which the townsfolk of Deerfield Township work with each other on to put it together. More than 150 volunteers from the community and nearby work on the festival to put on a show with live entertainment, rides, a parade, fireworks and more. It was something that the community looked forward to, a festival which was supposed to be fun and happy and it had been for 40 years. Unfortunately, for the 41st one, this was not the case. That year, they had hired rides from Skelly Amusements, a 25 ride operation providing fun for fairs, carnivals and festivals. One of these rides was the Extreme Sizzler. A Sizzler ride, also known as a Scrambler, is an amusement ride in which riders are spun around in suspended cars. This particular ride had 12 cars and the passengers would spin in horizontal circles at high speeds. The ride had a safety bar, but no seatbelt. That fateful day, Haley boarded the Extreme Sizzler ride at approximately 6 o'clock. A few minutes into the ride, something went wrong. According to the boy seated next to her, as the ride went on, Haley began to be thrown wildly in her seat. Haley then slipped under the safety bar as the boy desperately grabbed onto her. At this point, the boy was hanging onto Haley's left thigh as she clung to the safety bar. Sadly, with the momentum of the ride, Haley slipped and fell. The ride, however, did not stop. Cart struck her at least three times, violently pressing her against the metal floor, knocking her unconscious. Terrified onlookers immediately called emergency services. Hi, we're at the emergency um, ride thing, and the girl just fell out of the ride. I don't know if there's paramedics here, but there's just a bunch of people, and she's not moving. Okay, where is this at, ma'am? Oh, they know. They said they, they know. What rose behind the um, county fair? What, what happened? A girl fell out of the ride and she got smacked by the ride and there's the police here. Okay. Is, is this is at the Harvest Festival? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And where is she located at? She's on the, she's still on the ride, in the very back of the ride. Okay, she's on the, she fell off the ride, or she? No, she was ejected from the ride, I don't know, I just saw she was up in her seat and over the rail, that's all that I saw, I didn't see she stood up or if momentum took her, I don't know. Haley was airlifted to hospital, but sadly suffered head and brain injuries and died later on that night. An investigation was immediately launched. It was found that Haley did just meet the minimum height requirements to be on the ride, but she wasn't placed in the appropriate seat location designated for the smallest rider. They also found that the ride should have been fitted with seatbelts. In 2006, seatbelts were mandated for the ride in states of Florida and California, 
The result of this was that the manufacturer recommended to operators to install seatbelts, a recommendation which was ignored. Again, in 2017, the manufacturer issued more explicit notices mandating that a seatbelt had to be installed. This was sent to Skelly Amusements. The investigation also found that one of the ride operators originally didn't allow Haley to ride, which was overruled by a senior ride operator. McGowan, who originally measured the girl, said, I don't blame myself and I don't necessarily blame the equipment, but he had wished the girl had never been seated. One witness claimed that Haley was standing before the ride, trying to get the attention of the operator, but this was disputed by other witnesses, including the boy she was sat next to. Two lawsuits were filed. The first was against Skelly Amusements and its employees, and the second was against the manufacturer of the ride. The trial is set to take place later on this year. behind me the festival grounds are now empty much like the feeling in the community after this tragic loss well, it's gonna be hard you know it's always hard when you lose you know a little one I'm a little five-year-old at home and i mean i go and hook her every day now that following monday the community of deerfield township left flowers and balloons for Haley outside a shop which her family frequently visited a family friend stated it's just been misery, really. The whole community is sad. If we can do anything to ease their pain a little bit so they don't have to worry about money, having sick time, just being with their family, that would be wonderful. Her obituary says she was creative and always making videos and art. Her imagination was huge, as well as her intelligence. She was sassy and did not accept statements like, because I told you so. She wanted to know why and wanted to do the right thing even if it wasn't the popular thing. Haley, at the young age of 10, was the type of person that everyone should strive to be. She was wise beyond her years, and we miss her daily. Haley was laid to rest in the Marantha Baptist Church on October the 18th. Like I said, the case hasn't gone to trial yet, but when it does, I will post an update on my community tab or pin comment. Thanks for watching.